from the Good Property Company. Um, I think <laughs> I'm going to do some work. <laughs> so I'm here. I'm just about to go for tea, <laughs> but I just thought I'd pop in and check on uh, the uh, development of this property. So what have we got here? We actually have a really beautiful uh, Georgian house. It's uh, in a terrace. It's on a fairly steep slope. We actually don't have a uh, building movement. So we're not worried about building movement. However, we're doing a massive renovation from top to bottom. I bought this house and it had more or less no roof. I mean, it had the, the, the structure of the roof, but there were no tiles and it was just green plastic. So everything looked very green uh, and all the walls looked like this. Um, we've, we've continued to kind of rip out, or not rip out is the wrong word, but rip out and restore completely correctly as per conservation. And our thoughts were, if we're going to do this project, we are only ever going to do this project once. There are no structural issues. We're not worried about the structure of this house, but she is an old baby and she has been here for many hundreds of years and she is literally on a steep slope. The garden is not steep, but just the bit that she's built on, this is the back of the garden and that's going to be French windows going out to her garden and that's almost flat. But the front of the house is actually one story higher. So there's, there's actually soil all the way at the front of the house. So what the guys are going to do is they're going to do section of underpinning. Eh? And that just means that they're going to dig out. Well, well they've actually dug out already. Um, and they're going to continue to dig out sections where they're going to pour in a, a concrete that's uh, suitable and underpin the house in kind of meter by meter sections, just nice and steady. And, and the rationale for that was, do you know what? You're never going to pull this house back to where it's at um, again, ever. And it, it's beautiful, um, but let's strengthen it. So, so I kind of feel like this house is basically going to be hugging its two neighbours and saying, hey, babe, stay on. So, yes, you could say this was a bit of an expense that you don't need to necessarily need to do. But personally, I think do it once, do it once, do it once properly. I, I'm never going to sell this house. We know that everything will be structurally correct. And it's, and it's a bit like for me when I um, do a buy-to-let I always want to put in a new boiler um, simply because I then know I'm going to have kind of, I would hope, at least seven years of, at least seven years of boiler free. So here we've just gone one step further. So I'm not suggesting you do this, but I am suggesting that you take a long term view when you do renovations if you know that it's going to remain in your ownership for pretty much the rest of your life and hopefully your family's life as well. So I'm going to be interested to see. I think it starts next week. See you soon.